All right, Shalom. First and foremost, giving all praises, honor, glory, respect, and blessings to Yahweh, Basham, Yahweh Shai, Basham Rachakwadash. Salutations to the Lord's elect on the four corners of the earth, pushing this truth in sincerity while patiently waiting for Yahweh Shai's return. And as always, I would like to give double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone, which have taught us everything we know through the spirit and power of Yahweh. Ba'ashom Yahweh Shai And welcome to another series of quick and important information Being brought to you by the spirit and power of Yahweh Ba'ashom Yahweh Shai U.S. green lights Ukrainian attacks inside Russia Now obviously we know that this is a rumor Because if Ukraine was to attack inside of Russia That would be a full-blown World War III on the spot And we know that according to the scriptures it is not written for World War III to start with Russia um, being attacked by Ukraine, okay? Well, we know that according to the Holy Scriptures, it is not written for World War III to start by Ukraine attacking the, the inside of Russia by the green light of the United States, okay? Furthermore, we know that World War, World War, because we're already in World War III, okay? But World War Three is going to fully uh, uh, break out when America goes into Iran. And this is how America is going to go into Iran. Jeremiah chapter 50 verse 45. Therefore hear ye the counsel of the Lord that he have taken against Babylon. Babylon, which is the United States of America, and its purposes that he have proposed against the land of the Chaldeans. The Chaldeans are the Illuminati. How do we know this? Back in the ancient world, the ancient Chaldeans were known for what? Sorcery, witchcraft, idol worship, human sacrifices, rituals, you name it. Okay? Who's doing all those things in today's time? The Illuminati. Okay? And a matter of fact, back in the ancient world, the Babylon was the ancient Chaldeans main headquarters for, for performing their rituals and their human sacrifices and their sorceries and witchcrafts. Okay, the Chaldeans consisted of wizards, warlocks, witches, sorcerers, you name it. In today's time, the Illuminati consists of wizards, sorcerers, witches, warlocks, and America is their main headquarters for performing what? Rituals, human sacrifices. Okay, uh, um, 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 uh, witchcraft, sorcery, uh, dealing with familiar spirits, you name it. So the modern day Chaldeans today will be the Illuminati. Babylon will be the United States of America. Surely the least of the flock. Who's the least of the flock? The so-called Israelis. Who's going around telling the whole world that they are Jewish? They, they are the flock of the Lord's people. The, those, those small hats. The, those those, uh, those so-called Jews, okay? They're the ones going around telling the world they, they are the, uh, the flock of the Lord's people. So they are the least of the flock, the so-called Israelis. Surely the least of the flock shall draw them out. Shall draw who out? The, the Babylon, the Babylonians, which is America. But what, what is the so-called Israelis going to draw America into? Well, this whole situation is going to pop off where, because the so-called Israelis, they already have a controversy against the Iranians. So what's going to happen is that it's going to get to a point to where they're going to attack Iran, okay? Rather if it's through drones, through airplanes, rather if it's through ground troops, they're going to invade the, the land of Iran and attack that land. And when they do, they're going to draw the United States of America into their confrontation against Iran. And that's how the American troops are going to, are going to get involved in, into this onslaught against Iran. But when that happens, Russia is going to step in. Because presuming to the book of Ezekiel, the 38th chapter, Russia is commanded to be a guard unto these smaller nations, such as Iran, Syria, you know, Libya, you know, and, and, and many other countries, North Korea. So, you know, but guess what? America have allies too. So guess what? NATO is going to get involved. Now, NATO is going to be involved, but we know that according to Revelation chapter 17, verse 17, and Obadiah chapter 1, verse 7, we know that NATO is going to turn on the United States of America, okay? And then, of course, you know, China, uh, a communist country, an ally of Russia, they're going to step in, okay? Because they're an ally of Russia. So now you're going to have Russia allies getting involved. Germany is going to step in. 
because they're, they're currently cooperating with the United States of America. But guess what? Turkey, which is an ally of Russia, presuming to Ezekiel, the 38th chapter. Okay, Gomer, Togorma, Meshach, Tubal. Those, those, those are all Turkish countries, okay? They're going to ally them. They're, they're allies of Russia. So they're going to join Russia in their confrontation against the United States of America, Germany, and NATO. But guess what? North Korea is going to get involved because they're an ally of Russia. And just like that, you're going to have the world superpowers all getting involved over there in the Middle East in the Valley of Jehoshaphat, like it tells you in the book of jo Joel, you no, know, the third chapter, the ninth verse, all the way down to the twelfth verse, you know, in the Valley of Jehoshaphat, which goes back to the Hebrew word Yahweh Shapat, which means Yahweh's the judge, because the Lord is going to judge all of those nations over there for, for the controversy of Zion. Okay, for what they did to the nation of Israel, the Israelites, the true Israelites, which are the so-called Negro, Latino, and Native Indians. According to biblical prophecy in the Holy Scriptures and as it is proven in the Holy Scriptures. Okay, which that is also going to be the battle of Armageddon, which in the Hebrew is Hamagadwan, which means Valley of Troops. So that's going to be the battle, battle of the Valley of Troops. Okay, so we know that this is how World War Three is going to pop off. Surely he shall make their habitation desolate with them, because ultimately, during World War, during this full-blown World War Three, it's going to escalate into a nuclear war, and all of these countries which hate America in that day is going to shoot their intercontinental ballistic missiles on this country, which is known as America, and this country is going to be destroyed by 200 million nuclear warheads. And the land of Israel is going to be destroyed by, by nuclear warheads as well. That's why the Lord is, is um, setting up Iran. The Lord is going to use Iran to, 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 um, to, to destroy the land of Israel and, and to annihilate those small hats down there. Okay? So we, we know that's how World War III is ultimately going to pop off. It's not going to start off with Ukraine, you know, attacking inside of Russia. Now, while that would be cool, but no. That's not how the story is written. Now, this is the book of Matthew, chapter 24, and actually, I'm going a, I'm to a, I'm a go to 6. I meant to go to 6. Matthew 24, verse 6. It says, And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. So what, what do we call this? This is biblical prophecy right here. Okay? What we're hearing here is wars and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled. For all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. Okay, so we must hear of wars and rumors of wars. But the Lord commanded us not to be troubled. For all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. You see? And one more. Let's go to Luke chapter 21, verse 9. Okay? It says, But when ye shall hear of wars and commotions, when you shall hear of wars and commotions, be what? Be not terrified. For all these things must first come to pass, but the end is not by and by. So with that, I'm going to say, Shalom, is on to the next one.